Hello everybody. 2021 has been a successful year for us in alternative funding, thanks to the hard work and commitment of everyone in the team, and thanks to your support across the college. We submitted a successful bid to deliver training from our base in Lanark, which will allow us to continue our good work with the Rural Academy until the end of March 2022. This will allow us to continue our employability support and the delivery of vocational training in the rural communities of South Lanarkshire. Our modern apprenticeship contract with Skills Development Scotland is larger than it has ever been, with just under 200 modern apprentices currently being trained by the training and employment team. This year, recruitment for construction crafts, plumbing, have been particularly successful. And we have also developed our portfolio frameworks extending to business admin, accounting and payroll, life sciences, hospitality and travel. And we now work with a wider range of employers, including NHS and local care providers. The training and employment team have worked tirelessly to support modern apprentices and their employers in many ways this year, including pastoral care and recruitment incentives during what has been a challenging year. Our employability fund has been delivered successfully thanks to the support of everyone in the department and in the faculties of care and business. With the availability of Flexible Workforce Development Fund to larger and smaller businesses, we are now working with new employers who had never worked with the college before. As we break up for Christmas, we are pleased to report that we are on course to deliver our employability and upskilling intervention targets to support the local economy recovery, thanks to a collaborative approach between our department colleagues in student services, MIS, marketing, and across the faculties. Finally, on behalf of my colleagues in alternative funding, I wish you a lovely Christmas, a well-deserved break, and all the very best for the new year. Looking forward to working with you all in 2022 to continue making a difference in our community. Merry, Merry Christmas, everyone. On behalf of the Faculty of Business, it is my pleasure to deliver our 2021 Christmas message. We are fortunate to have a great support team around us, both within the faculty and across the college, and you are all part of team business. We try to thank you along the way, but probably not enough. I want now to share a few highlights from across the faculty. In learning development, we have been able to welcome, safely welcome, some of our most vulnerable students back onto campus. There has been an enormous amount of advanced work done by Pauline Healy and the team to make this happen. Our British Sign Language courses this, this year for college staff have been particularly successful, led by our very own Carmen MacDonald, an inspiring teacher who is teaching valuable new skills that embodies our values of inclusiveness. We welcome Julie Sim and Cameron Walker to our Support for Learning team. In Accounting and Legal, we said farewell to Vaz Bubin, to Pastures New, and to John Carswell, to a well-deserved retirement. We miss both of these wonderful personalities in our workroom. We welcome David Cowie and Chris Atkinson into permanent roles. They bring valuable skills and experience to the team and to our students. Our first two accounting modern apprenticeships from NHS Lanarkshire have successfully completed their programmes. Karen Cleary has forged a really positive working relationship with NHS Lanarkshire. In business, management and media, we said a very fond farewell to Carol Rooney as she retired after 30 plus years of service at South Lanarkshire College. We also welcome new team members who bring vast experience and valuable skills to this team. So a warm welcome to Taryn Robertson and Aileen Ross. 
This curriculum area delivers our flexible workforce development fund provision to a variety of established and growing number of new clients. Liz Woods and her team work tirelessly to reel in every new contact. In hospitality, events and tourism, we saw Gail Mattock retire recently after 28 years of service to the college. We laughed our way through her many recollections during a wonderful afternoon tea provided by her colleagues. We welcome Ruth Hardy to our growing horticulture team and thank the horticulture staff, Cathy Purcell, Helen Vaz and our students for their particular contribution to our recent graduations. Our success stories in this area of work are many, with none more high profile than our recent involvement in COP26, during which David Oki, with current and former students, had the opportunity to cook for some high profile politicians and guests during that international event. We have the photographs to prove it, and the students are still buzzing. I personally want to acknowledge the work of the Faculty of Business Leadership and Administration team. I am fortunate to work with a group of strong, hard-working, principled and caring women. I cannot thank them enough for the support they have given me throughout 2021. And finally, to all of you out there across our college community who help and support Team Business Daily, we wish you a very merry and peaceful Christmas with your family and friends and a very happy 2022 when it comes. Hello, I hope you're all very well and are looking forward to Christmas. I only have a few updates for you today. Firstly and most importantly is a rundown of where we are with credits and the uh, intake student intake. You have all been working extremely hard uh, with the students to progress them through their courses and even harder in the setup of the January intake. Many of you will notice that the IS team have started inviting students to enrol and we're looking to the future for our credit target. At the moment we are slightly short on our credit target but only by a very small margin. This is the same in other colleges in the sector and because of this the SFC have allowed for flexibilities this year similar to previous Covid years. This includes, for example, allowing an additional guidance credit for HM programmes and claiming of COVID credits from last year. We are reviewing last year's deferred students, and which should help close the gap. Achieving our credit target is really dependent on the January intake. Uh, in recent credit projections, uh, I've been conservative in my numbers, and if we see a good intake from January, we should be in a very good position to meet our target come the end of 2022. Everyone is working extremely hard to make sure January courses are filled and I would like to thank everyone at this stage for all their hard work. Uh, along, alongside the credit monitoring, we have been developing, developing a number of new reporting services. You may remember from the All Staff Conference that Stella talked about Power BI. Some of you will have already started to use the service with the course team reports and the PI data. However, there are more reports coming like uh, like the application and enrolment reporting we are already using these new reports in our department currently to give us a picture of the college progress and more information will be about, available about Power BI in the new year. Some of you may have noticed the option for the Power BI reports in the staff portal uh, menus and by all means go and have a look. I can barely believe it myself, but we're actually looking at the stage of looking at next August courses. Along with this comes a new curriculum plan system. Um, we have spent the last few months developing an update for the curriculum plan, which is currently in testing. This will provide information to the website in time for advertising the 2022-23 courses at the end of January. And lastly, we've been spending some time with our data protection and information security officers to produce new and updated policies and procedures. This has spurred us to look at the current policies, working with the principalship, marketing, HR and quality. We now have a formalised new document layout to use with the policies. We're combining this uh, update with to the documents with some of the new technology we have in Microsoft to make it easier for staff to access policies 
and also help with accessibility requirements like screen readers. And that's all for me. It's just to say thank you to uh, everyone, including the IS department, for all their hard work this year and all the support they've given me. Hope you all have a lovely Christmas and New Year, and I'll see you all in 2022. Hi everyone. Well, it's that time of year again where the last minute panic buy online, of course, comes into play. I would just like to say that's me four months in and can only say I received a warm welcome from my new colleagues, which I really appreciate, so thank you. In that four months, staff have worked really hard not only to recruit and deliver this year's planned curriculum, but also deliver a number of catch-up classes to support students gaining their qualifications. And amongst this, we have also won the British Slate Off, so well done to all the staff involved and a special mention to the student, of course, who won, and that is Jordan Maley. Also, at the recent CDN Awards, the College in partnership with AC White were commended for their Building Future Skills submission under the heading of Employer Connections Award. Again, well done to everyone involved and hopefully the remainder of the academic year will be as successful as the start. We say a fond farewell to some staff, Greg Stitt and Neil Hammond, who have gained positions at other colleges in the sector, so good luck to them. And finally, we say goodbye to Brian Hannigan, a well-kent face at SLC. He retires at the end of the month and we wish him a long and an enjoyable retirement. It just leaves me to say, have a relaxing holiday and I hope Santa is good to you. Merry Christmas. Hi everyone, I would just like to say a huge thanks to all the staff in the Faculty of Construction who continue to go above and beyond to ensure that our students have a great college experience. I would especially like to thank our CMs who have coped wonderfully well with all the challenges that have came their way. Finally, I just want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a healthy and prosperous New Year. To my amazing team in the Faculty of Care, I want to thank you all so very much for the outstanding work you all do to support our students to achieve their qualification throughout what has been another difficult and challenging year. The last five months have flown by with lots happening to make the learning experience special for our students. In October, HNC hairdressing student Shan Robertson McCurdy won the national final of the Wella Exposure Competition in London. Our beauty therapy students have been showcasing their exceptional practical skills in Twitter daily and have contributed to the Loaves and Fishies Food Bank in East Kilbride as part of the Self in the Community project. The Life Science team have been involved in a new initiative working in partnership with the University of Glasgow to deliver a bespoke HNC in Applied Science that will allow students to articulate directly into year two of the under undergraduate degree programmes within Life Sciences. The Minister for Children and Young People, Claire Howey, delivered an inspiring talk to our HNC childcare students, highlighting the important part they will play within the early years sector. We also met with the new Director of Health and Social Care for South Lanarkshire Council, Suman Sagupta, to start conversations about collaborative working, building on existing good relationships and moving them to the next level. And finally, over the past two Fridays, student class representatives from across all areas of the faculty have attended our faculty leadership team meetings. I would just like to share some of their feedback with you. Our lecturers are fabulous. Lecturers are encouraging. Our lecturers make learning fun. Our lecturers always make time for us. This is truly, truly inspirational feedback and a testament to everyone's commitment and professionalism. On behalf of the faculty leadership team, I wish you, your families and loved ones, a very Merry Christmas and best wishes for the new year. Enjoy. Merry Christmas. <laughs> a great big thank you to all of you who have helped to make the college a success. For me, some of the highlights so far this year have been COP26, where the whole college community promoted sustainability to our staff, 
our students and the local community. Our annual collection for the local food bank was tremendous and a huge donation was delivered to Loaves and Fishies last week to enable distribution prior to Christmas. And finally, a special thank you to Santa and one of his elves who took time out of their busy schedule to visit the college and added fun to Christmas Jumper Week. Merry Christmas everybody and a Happy New Year. Hi, as we fast approach the end of the year, I want to say a huge thank you to everyone for your continued commitment and hard work. You should feel very proud of everything you've achieved this year. Once again, this has been a very successful year for the College. In recognition of our inclusive practice, we were delighted to be one of only two colleges chosen to pilot the Emily Test Gender-Based Violence Charter. This important piece of work will continue next year and beyond. Work is progressing on a new admission system to update our recruitment practices to improve the applicant journey and experience. As a college, we continue to tackle digital poverty and have processed over 350 applications for long-term loan laptops to help support students with blended learning. Supporting students is central to everything we do here at the college and to date we have supported over 80 students with therapeutic counselling support and dispersed almost 800,000 in discretionary funds, helping our most financially disadvantaged students. And in, and in October this year, we held our first ever on-campus graduation, which was a huge celebration of achievement. 192 graduates attended the ceremonies over two days, with many board members attending and special guests, such as Dr Lisa Cameron, Colette Stevenson, the Lord Provost, and our amazing keynote speakers, Marvin Bartley, Dr Lou Mycroft and Dr Julie McElroy. And for next year, we can look forward to working to create a brand new website for the college, which will articulate our brand and, and curriculum offer much more effectively. So very exciting times ahead. So I would like to take this opportunity to wish you all a lovely Christmas, have a restful break, and here's to a happy, healthy 2022. Thank you. As I am sure you'll be aware, the facilities team have had some major projects this year. 2021 has seen some major challenges, learning curves and achievements for our team. The start of 2021 through to present date has seen us in the midst of a global pandemic, which required creative, responsive and flexible approaches to adapt a learning and working space to ensure a safe environment for all personnel. This has been challenging as these guidelines do not give much time for anything except rapid responses and what a team, they turn spaces around overnight to meet these mandates. We've invested in capital projects with major roof works, installation of a new air handling system, reconfiguration of classrooms to allow spaces to be maximised with install of sliding partitions and the upgrade of the CCTV system, to name but a few. This brings me to the team who show up, contribute, develop and maintain our campus. Our maintenance team in-house consists of only two who keep the operation of the building and campus ticking to contribute to a compliant working environment. Their knowledge has been critical this year. Building supervisors to each of you, your efforts and commitment this year has been outstanding. You rise to every challenge and adapt quickly. Well done and thank you. The morning, day and evening cleaners, your individual contributions are critical to the safe environment we provide to all. It is always fulfilled with a smile and you've blown the Christmas Jumper Week challenge out of the water. So to each of you, thank you. The minibus drivers, 2021, has seen your environment change with limited passengers, but your efforts have remained in ensuring safe travel and getting the students to campus. For painting and decorating apprentices, you have brightened and maintained the painting works throughout the campus to an exceptional standard this year. Keep focused on your goals and thank you. And finally, the back office element of facilities management and health and safety. 
the facilities management functions cannot operate without a strong team. Keeping the administrative element together, you've been outstanding in effort, going the extra mile and thank you. We strive to maintain and improve our facilities on campus for all to enjoy, to create a safe, functional and vibrant environment, to study, work and we achieve through this through Creative FM. But this can't be achieved without a motivated and dedicated team. And personally, I appreciate you all and thank each and every one of you as we have not achieved this in 2021 successes without you. Have a wonderful Christmas and a well-deserved break. Merry Christmas everyone. Things have been exciting this year in HR. We have welcomed 30 new employees. We've delivered five staff development days and one staff conference, all delivered remotely. We have had over 1,690 training activities and we achieved our four-year equality outcomes. We've also seen the birth of Freddie, our equality, diversity and inclusion friend. And we had our pilot employee star awards just before the summer holidays. We launched our peer and peer support group in response to staff and union requests, and we relaunched our career review in an automated format. We were finalists in the global LEAD 5050 awards for gender diversity across our leadership team, and we are waiting on the outcome of our leaders in diversity reaccreditation. We achieved disability confident employer status again, and we won the Yes One Jobs Recruitment Award for Best Diversity and Inclusion Initiative. So to our HR team, thank you for your amazing commitment and contributions. And to our trade unions and our colleagues, thank you for making the college such a wonderful place to work. Wishing you and your loved ones a happy and peaceful festive period. Greetings from the North Pole, also known as East Kilbride. It's your jolly, full of fun head of finance here looking to dispense some good cheer. In common with most businesses, and we are a business, the college has had a challenging time when it's come to balancing the books. The good news is that South Lanarkshire College did balance the books for the last financial year and we are working hard to make that happen for the current year. Some colleges are finding that very difficult to do, but we have brought in more stringent financial monitoring to help ensure that we remain financially sustainable without compromising the quality of education and training we provide or the environment in which we work. The heads of your department or faculty have had to work within financial and staffing limits whilst maintaining those standards and quality, and that's not always easy to do. I'd like to thank them for working so hard with the finance department and helping to keep us on an even financial keel. If they give you a hard time over anything financial, it's because I've given them a hard time. So feel free to blame me, and that's why I'm wearing a disguise. I'd like to particularly thank all the members of staff who have ensured that the relevant bits of paper or online forms are completed, particularly where you have to persuade a student or another member of staff to do so. It's the attention to detail, working together effectively and efficiently that makes the difference and it does contribute greatly to making our college such a success. Balancing the books and maintaining that quality of provision and the environment in which we work doesn't just happen. It's down to a real team effort involving every single one of you. Finally, I'd like to thank my own staff who've worked so hard in particularly challenging circumstances and who have to put up with my madness and ranting over the past year. I'd like to say that I'll be easier to work with next year, but I'll just be as bad. So I'd make a special plea for you to treat them kindly if they ask you for your assistance. Remember, they have to work with me. This past while has been a hard shift for everyone. Enjoy your time off, but remember if you're out there having fun, you are representing the college, so always give a false name if things get out of hand. That's always worked for me. So stay safe, 
So stay, stay safe. Have a happy Christmas. Enjoy the time with friends and family. And let's hope that 2022 sees the world getting back to normal. Hi everyone. You just heard from the college leadership team who have been telling us about the fantastic achievements of the areas. These achievements could not have happened without your commitment and dedication and your continued unrelenting focus on ensuring our students can achieve to the best of their abilities. This focus includes our curriculum teams creating excellent learning environments and providing essential industry skills to our student services team who provide continuous round-the-clock support and advice to our facility staff who have kept the building running despite floods and roof issues and to our finance, quality, MIS, IT, marketing, HR and alternative funding teams who enable the college to run smoothly and support all of us to meet our key performance indicators. So as you all reflect on what you have accomplished this year, I want you to be very proud of yourselves and to continue in 2022 to put our students at the heart of everything we do. The college leadership team are proud of all of you and we'd like to sincerely thank you for this year and to wish you all a relaxing, safe and Merry Christmas and the very best for the year ahead. Thank you.